All right, let's start by taking a look at what your final product should look like for this 9.4 skills assessment. The cool thing about this assignment is it should be super easy because we're going to go back and work with spreadsheet tables and insert a table using the copy and paste and linking it. You've done this. So your table is going to look similar to this. Now how sharp, how clear, how crisp is this? What a great resource for you to know when you're creating your reports. You could create a table in a spreadsheet and very easily add it into your MLA report that you're creating for another class. And remember, tables are such a great way to organize information. What you're going to do for this one, since this report that you're writing, basically you're writing a report here about MLA, about MLA documentation, what this table would help us see is useful format information. So it's also a good study tool. It talks about the header, the heading. We don't know a lot about the Works Cited page, so I give you the answers for that. The title and the body. So in your assignment, the very th first thing you're gonna need to do or in your task two, you have to complete the table that is, oh, let's see, right here, the 9.4 table data. So when you open this, I have little X's on the cells that you need to enter data into. You do not have to enter data into this last row, and I'll show you why in just a little bit. But remember to use the correct mechanics. So on the header, what would you put in this column? Well, what is included in the header? I'll give you some examples. You gotta have your last name. You have to have the page number, and notice how it's capitalized. Don't, you're gonna write this like each of these cells is the title of a report, okay? The last name, page number, we would put something like Times New Roman for the text. And if you needed to remember to wrap it to the next line because we don't want this too wide for your report, that's important to remember as well. So this is just a good review of tables that we've been working on. And then maybe the last one would be something like um, right page, right upper is where you're going to put that on the page. So just good reminders for where it's located. The heading, well, we're talking about your name, the teacher's name, the date correctly formatted. You don't have to do anything for the work cited. Tell me what you know about creating a good title and tell me what you know about some of the things we talked about with the body, regard to spacing, fonts, alignments, indents, all of that good stuff. That's your task two. And again, this is a skills assessment, so follow that very carefully that you're doing the instructions on the checklist as well. Task three, you're gonna copy and paste this spreadsheet. So that's pretty simple. Remember, we just select all, command C to copy, and you're gonna go back to your report. And I have no paragraphs here. We aren't making you do any paragraphs, but you're gonna copy and paste it so that it's located next to this table. And I even give you some hints here. I tell you to put your cursor at the end of the paragraph, hit your return, and it's gonna to try to indent it. Hit your delete before you paste it. Command V, we're gonna link it to the spreadsheet. And then you're gonna pull this in and you're gonna see, well, I don't really need that blank bottom row, but you're gonna look at this and everything else looks pretty sweet. So you're gonna go up to your table data, you're gonna show me that you would know how to delete this last row. Go up to your edit and we're gonna delete row seven. And then this is where the magic happens. We go back to your assignment and it's the same thing as we did where we worked at the previous unions, units. Just do your update and that will remove that last row for you. It's linked to the spreadsheet and there's a practical way to pull that all together. All right, so edit that table. We did that on task four. Remember to proofread, take a quick look to make sure your work cited didn't get bumped anywhere, even though we haven't done much with that one. You should know by now that goes on the last page. Make sure, since this is a skills assessment, all of this is done correctly as well. 
everything will be graded on these headers and the headings. And that completes your work for this 9.4 skills assessment. Hopefully you're seeing how much fun it is to pull in, work together with multiple file types, such as your spreadsheets, working with a document to, cre to create these multi-page reports.